welcome back with another video lecture ascaris lumbricoids ascaris lumbricoids belongs to kingdom metazoa and phylum nematoda their definitive host is human by definitive host we mean primary host and which sexually mature or sexually maturation of ascaris lumbricoid parasites are found ascaris lumbricoid have no intermediate host by intermediate host we mean the host in which the larval stage of parasite are found and the reservoir for ascaris lumbricoids are human and environment because ascaris eggs are lies in soil or an infected human act is a reservoir then we have morphology of adult male and female worm the male worm is 15 to 30 cm long and their posterior end is curved while female worm is about 20 to 50 cm long and their posterior end is straight ascaris lumbricoids are largest in round worms the eggs of ascaris lumbricoids are about 50 to 70 micrometer this image is taken from wet mount preparation while examines tool under microscope then we have larva of ascaris lumbricoid the larva located inside the fertilized egg here in the diagram the larva is hatching from eggs which are about 1.2 to 1.8 mm in length then we have sign and symptoms of ascariasis and heavy ascariasis infestation a mass of worm can block a portion of intestine which can lead to severe abdominal cramping and vomiting a person may also experience symptoms including fever weight loss lungs edema hemoptosis the hemoptosis cause when the parasite goes to alveolar space they cause protein energy malabsorption or malnutrition due to flattening of villi or brush border of intestine by this way reduce nutrients and protein absorption leads to malnutrition and when the worms are in lungs they may cause coughing gauging or wheezing and the symptoms pick up when the children eat non-nutritive things then we have epidemiology of ascaris lumbricoid estimated 1.4 billion people has been infected worldwide ascariasis occurs at any age but 2 to 10 years children are most affected because of poor hygiene the cases of ascariasis in south america is 8 percent in asia 73 percent and in south africa 12 percent then we have transmission of ascaris lumbricoid the transmission of ascariasis occur through fecal oral roots the eggs containing larva and their embryo embryonation occur in environment in humid and warm places also transmission occurs mainly by ingestion of contaminated food or water with eggs and occasionally by inhalation of contaminated dust with eggs also the children playing in contaminated soil may acquire the parasite from their hands then we have life cycle of ascariasis the life cycle of ascaris lumbricoid starts when the male and female adult worms are mature in intestine they lay eggs inside the intestine and release their eggs through feces to environment they have fertilized egg and unfertilized egg in feces the unfertilized egg will not undergo biological development but fertilized egg undergo to l1 stage which is starting and non-infectious stage followed by l2 stage same it is not infectious and not fully mature stage 
then form L3 stage and L3 stage eggs with embryonated larva ingested by humans it will goes to small intestine where hatching occur that is the larva came out from embryonated eggs now hatched larva enter to circulation and reach to lungs in lungs the larva will burst alveolar sacs the larva cuffed up and swallowed with sputum through gastrointestinal tract in small intestine maturation proceed and convert into adult male and female then the cycle repeats again then we have pathogenesis when parasite pass from intestinal mucosa they develop wound wear inflammation and hypersensitivity reaction occurs which leads to eosinophilia the parasite also damage liver they cause pancreatitis and obstruction of biliary ducts when reach to lungs serous exudate formation occur that is pneumonia type illness or shortness sorry due to hemoptysis that is blood and sputum start when cuffed when parasite swallowed and mature in intestine they cause coarsening of intestine that is shortening shortening of crypts leads to protein and energy malabsorption further complication include interception valvulus hemorrhagic infarction and intestinal pore can possible then we have laboratory diagnosis the adult worm can be seen through naked eyes and stool may be passed from mouth or nose larva can be detect from sputum examination which is about 1.2 to 1.8 mm in length stool microscopy by observation of wet mount for parasitic eggs and blood eosinophil count can increase and ige antibody detection can be done we can also detect worms through ultrasound then we have treatment option albendazole mebendazole ivermectin levamisol and parental pemoate can be used for scarus lumbricoids thanks for watching